Hey, what's up guys? How are we all doing? Back for another video. Another video on the blues, man. I'm getting addicted to doing these. I might even have to go out and buy myself some new blues kit because I seem to wear the same bloody shirts every video. Uh, I have got other blues clothes. They're just in shit condition, that's all. Uh, and I ain't spending £100 on a hoodie. And it's as simple as that. I don't care how much you love the blues. I, I, you ain't getting 100 quid out of me. If there's anyone that does fake ones, let me know. I'll buy one of them. Uh, <laughs> not a great way to start the video. But uh, funny enough, Bit of talk on finances. I've been doing my research, guys. Been uh, been on the EFL website, up and down like an accountant, taking notes. Um, good news. Blues fans, good news, man. It's a good time to feel optimistic, honestly. I hope this video, I hope you walk away with a, a positive outlook, or at least more positive than you was when you got here. That's the goal of this video. Um, so, FFP is no more, it's no more, it's gone. Salary Cost Management Protocol, SCMP, just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? That's, that just rolls off the tongue. Security Management Protocol, yeah, brilliant. Um, it's not all bad. 60% of our revenue can be utilized. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through how that's measured, what it can be used on, the rules and where it applies, okay. No way, I feel like a Sky News reporter, this is sick. Um, okay, so at the start of the year, Tom Wagner and Nighthead will re will send a report on what they expect our finances to look like throughout the course of the year, what our expected revenue is this season. Well, technically next season, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> From that, they will say, here's 60%, this is what you're allowed to spend on wages. Um, for those of you that don't know, that the revenue is made up of stuff like a, on the match day experience, it's season tickets, tickets, programs, catering, um, and then other than that is TV, radio, um, and what was it called, the other thing? A merit payment, that's where you're expected to end up. So you, if well be odds on favourites to, to win the league, I, I'd, I'd imagine. So they can kind of put that as evidence um, and th that's also why they've done stuff like the UB40 concerts just to raise revenue. They'll, you expect to see a lot more of that. You know, he talks about it regularly in the open houses and whenever he does get a chance to speak by the club. Um, okay, so that's 60%. This is the bit that's astounding. This is the good news. That only goes towards wages. Transfers is unlimited. There is no cap on how much you can spend on transfers, which for me didn't sound right. I originally saw some guy talk about it on Facebook, a comment section, oh, that's not right, can't be right. It is right. You can spend as much as you want. And I think that there's a couple reasons for this. I think it's so you can lure players away from clubs with a transfer budget, you know, pay above and beyond so that club will say yes. Um, and also I think it's because the EFL only wants to fund the Premier League and the championship if they have to, and they want the rest of be self-funded so they can save all their money and give it to the big boys. That's just my theory. Um, but I think that's why they've allowed that. It's also, it's meant to be able to level out the playing field as well, is the official story, that is to make it fair, do you know what I mean, so we don't get more out. It's bollocks. It's so they can give all the money to EFL. That, it, that's all it is. They just want to, you know, they just want to spoon feed Man United. That's what it is. <laughs> that's my theory. Um, Okay, so injections of equity also count as turnover, which is mad. So they can just dump money into the club and it's like, yeah, this is how much we turned over. It's, it's insane. Um, so the 60% is entirely for the wages. Now, academy players under the age of 20 don't count. So we saved some money on the likes of George Hall there, I think he's below 20. And you know, uh, Junior Dixon and Donovan, that we won't be paying for their wages. They don't count towards the 60%. We will be paying it, but you don't have to report it. Uh, players that we signed at the start of last season that are on contracts three years or longer also don't count, i.e. Buchanan and I think Laird and Bakuna. There may be some others, and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I may even be wrong about Bakuna. But anyone that fits that category does not go towards the 60%. So that frees up even more. So you, Considering what I've just told you about them players that don't count, the academy players don't count, the fact that we've got 10 players leaving and five players going back on loan, that's a clean slate. 
with the ability to spend whatever you want. That's 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 ideal. That is just what this club needs. This would have been so much harder to do in the championship. And no one painting it in a good light that we've gone down and been relegated. And other clubs will laugh at this kind of at this way of thinking. But for one, this is the way you have to think. Because it's positive and you need to be positive. And two, it's 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 true. I haven't said anything that isn't true. That's true. So given that we if we keep Tony Mowbray as a manager. And I think a lot of the season hangs on this. If we can keep Tony Mowbray, oh my God. I've heard here and there that he is staying, but nothing's solid and confirmed. If one of you have some inside information, let me know. Give the guy a ring. Get, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever he wants. It's <laughs> not a great sentence. So he will come in and say, these are the players that I want. Go get them. And he'll have like, whatever Nighthead want to put out, they'll be willing to go spend, get them, bring them in. And then hopefully just piss the league and it's that simple really because that's football, isn't it? Um, I wish it was that simple. Um, so, this, this, you know the past few seasons we've run about what you hear saying we need a big reset, we need a clear out, get rid of the chaff. This is it. This is, this is it. We are in the ideal situation now. It was a situation that was forced upon us, but was it a blessing in disguise? That is a genuine question. That's not me mo making the most out of a bad situation. Is it a blessing in disguise? I think the answer is yes. Okay, I was talking to my two mates the other day, my two best mates at Aston Villa fans. Can you believe it? It's awful. It's absolutely awful. Can you imagine what it's like watching the football with them? For me, given the situation of the two clubs. It's horrendous. But my one mate, he's loving it. He's absolutely loving what's happening now. And, you know, if the tables are turned, I'd be loving it so we can blame it. Me and my other mate were joking about, uh, at least you get to play in the Bristol Street Motors Trophy. And you know what? I, I, I laughed when I was taking the piss, but then I genuinely started to think, and this is, bear with me on this one, especially if you're not a Blues fan, you're from another club, you just watch it. Where, Birmingham City are going to be odds-on favourite to win that trophy. We'll be Bucky's favourite, so why not? I know, I know it's so funny, but why not go on an adventure? Can you imagine Can you imagine you got to the final? Tell me you wouldn't be excited as a Blues fan. Tell me you don't want to go to Wembley and watch the Blues, even if it is the Bristol Street Miners Trophy. Of course you do. I would. When's the last time we, we went on an adventure, had an exciting season? The season we won the Carling Cup and got relegated was my favourite season. Because we had an adventure, we had someone to show for it. Memories were made for bad or worse. You don't get that anymore. I'm sick of being in a season just fighting relegation. You're out in the second round of the cup. You've got nothing to play for. No excitement. This, this is the change. And I know it seems like I'm getting carried away. I believe in Tom Wagner and Nighthead. I believe in them. And maybe I'm a sucker. The Tom Wagner glazing is going to be real now. I believe in them. You know, people take the piss. You know, other fans have took the piss that he comes to our games. You know, when you come out, it's our time. It's our house. Mate, I love that. And, and maybe if it was another club, I'd think it was cringe. But I think that's our owner. He didn't have to be at the game the other day where we was possibly going to get relegated. He didn't have to be. He could have hid in the dark. I think Gary White said. But he'd come out there, knew we was most likely going to get relegated, and showed up. That's what I want from an owner. How come when Leicester's owner does it, everyone loves him, but when Birmingham City's owner does it, he's just an American? I'm for it. I believe in it. Look at the work they've done off the training ground. Um, in the back, revitalising the training centre, fixing St. Andrew's stands, the plans they've got going forward. I, I believe in United. I think it's a I think this is a great time to be a Birmingham City fan. And I'll open myself up to getting the piss take on me. I don't care, I'm proud. I think it's a great time and I'm looking forward to this season, more so than any season I have previously. And I'll tell you why I'm looking forward to it. Because usually we average minus sixteen goal difference. We average what thirteen wins a season. That's what we average, that's what we look forward to at the start of the season. This season, we've actually got a chance to go out there and batter a few teams, walk into a game confidently. I know it's a tough league, I know, that, I know there'll be losses along the way, but I'm not walking into a season thinking we're going to end up with a minus six. We might actually end up with a goal difference in the plus. 
you know, we might actually go on a streak, win three or four games back to back. I d- I'm, I'm all for it, man. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the season, especially given that if we keep turning over and we can go out there and proper spend some dollar, why, why wouldn't you be excited? I, I think it's a great time to be a Birmingham City fan. I don't, ca- I don't care. Um, and you know, if what, if not, and we do end up saying in League One, we'll have a sixty thousand seat stadium that we can play the Oval Town in. Who cares? <laughs> God, I even I couldn't give a strap on that one. But do you know what I mean? It's the intention. It's the fact that even though we've took a step back, the overall trajectory of the club is up. And yes, we're probably getting the piss taken out of us from other clubs. But the the eyes have never been on Birmingham as much as they are now. Even if they are taking the piss out of you, people are watching. People are clicking on the channel. People, uh, I mean, like the Blues channel, watching the videos, replying to the Twitter stories, making us money from the engagement. And, you know, you've got to make the best out of a bad situation. And that's what I I originally thought I was doing until I've done my research and realised the situation actually isn't that bad at all. It's a small step backwards. The big reset. Teams have done it. The evidence is there to suggest it can be done. And the environment we find ourselves in to do it is optimal. Look at that. This will be a meme, this will. You wait, first game of the home season. Lost. My head, straight across it, mug. <laughs> that's, that's what it's gonna be, mug. Um, nah, I don't care, man. I don't care. If you're a rival fan, or any other fan watching this, absolutely killing yourself, drop a comment and tell me how much of a mug I am. But before you do that, like and subscribe, please. Thank you very much. Um, no, just, just tell me what you think. Am I wrong? Blues fans, am I wrong? Anyone else, am I wrong? I don't think I am. Maybe a few find the details made and made a mistake, but the, straight from the EFL website, um, I'm really positive and I hope you guys are as well. Let me know what you think, man. Uh, I, I, I take nothing back. No regrets. I stand by everything I've said. Um, like and subscribe. Take it easy. And I'll see you soon, guys.